I'm here with Keisha Dinker. Hello. No stranger to the channel. She's always been here many a times. But she came for Indie Beauty Expo and we had a blast. Showed her around the city. So much fun. Yes, yeah, so now today's her last day. And we're just gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with us, talk about her New York City experience because this is her first time in New York. First time. Um, we thought about Indie Beauty Expo and uh, yeah. just a lot of chitting and chatting, just getting ready. We're going to do a basic everyday get ready with us, nothing fancy, no fancy eyeshadow look, just a basic if we're going to the store every day, every day going to work, going to the store look. And that is it. If you guys are not familiar with what Indie Beauty is, it's like a expo, like a whole beauty, obviously, beauty event mm -hmm. where there are lots of different vendors. Um, mostly indie brands, small brands, a few big brands, and they sell green products for your body, for your skin, a whole wellness kind of situation. And yeah, you just shop, mix, mingle. Yeah, the cool thing about it is you can meet the owners mm -hmm. of the brands and they have demonstrations and they talk to you about their ingredients and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So, If you guys want more information about that, Indie Beauty Expo does have an Instagram page. I'll link that for you guys. And also, just a quick snippet. Chelsea did a quick, like, one-minute snippet video of a recap of Indie Beauty Expo. That's on her Instagram page. I'll link that as well. As well as her YouTube channel. I'll link that for you guys as well. Just to give you a quick no, snippet. Links. Well, I'm not linking your stuff, so that's enough links. Just to give you a quick snippet of what Indie Beauty Expo <laughs> was like. Her info will be linked all over the place. First things first. <laughs> Our eyebrows are already done because we knew that was going to take a while, so we just did it off camera. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, how I do my eyebrow, if you want to call it a tutorial, you know, I have it. So, if you head over to my channel, you can find it in the playlist for Green Beauty. I, I might link it for you guys. I <laughs> might link it. The first things first, Keisha, welcome to New York again. Thank you. New York has been awesome. Yeah, how was your experience? I really like New York. I have to admit, I really like New York. What do you like about it? Well, I, I don't know if I could live here. But I like the diversity, like there's so mm -hmm. many different cultures here. It seems like there's always something to do here. Wait, wait, tell them where do you live? Oh, I live in uh, Virginia. I live in the R Richmond, Virginia area right now. Oh, tell them all the boroughs you went to. <laughs> You're trying to be funny. <laughs> okay. I went to four boroughs. You did not go. I did four boroughs. I went to Manhattan. Okay. Harlem. Harlem is not a borough. Harlem is a borough. No, it's yeah. not. It's yeah. in Manhattan. Harlem deserves to be its own borough. So okay. Harlem. Mm -hmm. Love Harlem to death. To mm -hmm. life. I loved Harlem. And you're in <laughs> Queens. You're in Queens now, huh? And then mm -hmm. Brooklyn. I and went to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. And your favorite borough was? I love Queens because you live here. But. Manhattan! <laughs> Harlem was pretty cool. I, well, I did feel kind of offended though because we went to the um, We wanted to go to the Malcolm X Museum exhibit. Yeah, yes. it hurts so when I talk about it And we went all the way there and on the website It says that they're open from 11 in the day to 6 in the afternoon and we get there and it's not open And first of all we get there We get to the building and we're like no, that's not where we want to go and the guy was like yeah, this, this is the place it's just a building and it has the building number on it, like the address. Yeah. But it does not say anything about Malcolm X, nothing. And I'm like, this is the place. I'm like, this is the place. We go there and it's not even open. It broke her heart. I had to, it I did. don't know. It really did. That, you Malcolm, did a good job cheering me up though. I did. I had to bring her back to 125th Street yes. and go shopping. <laughs> but it was, I, I felt kind of hurt because I was like, really? Like, not even, a, not even someone there, not even a sign that says, you know, Malcolm X on the building, nothing. You would never know what it yeah. is unless you go directly mm -hmm. inside. You wouldn't know what the mm -hmm. building was, so. And to me, I'm kind of like you, even though I know there is already an avenue, is that an avenue or a street? But Malcolm a boulevard. 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 But I feel like that whole street should be named, you know, the, the street mm -hmm. that the building is on, mm -hmm. the Audubon it should, Theater, it should yeah. be named for him. Now, what do you feel about Indie Beauty? <laughs> Indie Beauty was nice, that was my first time. That was your first time? First too. time too. Mm -hmm. I think it was nice. I just felt like I would have loved to see more black owned brands there, mm -hmm. more women of color or people of color, black people, mm -hmm. have to be specific, um, owned brands there, mm -hmm. as well as people, us, you know, representing there. Mm -hmm. Although there was a handful of us, there was a good amount. Yeah. But I would love to see more. Like, you know, 50 50, 50% 50 them, 50% us. I don't know, is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Maybe. But. 
I would love to see that there. There was a lot of brands that had skincare products that mm -hmm. could work for us and like um, lo lotions and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. as far as makeup, green makeup, <laughs> the foundation shades, honey. That was the main issue that we found that there were a lot, there were like hundreds, was it a good over 100 or 200? Oh yeah, it was like 200. Yeah, yeah so many, it was a, a big, big event, big, tur big turnout. But as far as for us people of color to purchase things, black, no, dark skin tone, black people like us, it was like, I'm sorry, I can't really check for you, I can't really because, and some of the brands were apologetic about it they, they explain you know we're trying to expand i appreciate that, that, that and antonym i still spoke with a guy at antonym and we're doing shade matching he's like yeah i'm sorry even our darker shade is still too light but he said you know we're working on it we'll come out with it in, in the future and i appreciate that he actually had the discussion with me and i was like thank you for having that so antonym shout out to you if you're ever watching this video i appreciated the discussion that we had there so some yeah. brands are really apologetic and some are just like this is what we have and that's it and you know that one brand they didn't even acknowledge me when i went to the booth mm, shade speaking of foundation shade i have changed my foundation shade because i have gotten tanned beach tan. <laughs> i've been in the beach i've been in the sun so my skin color is much darker so i've been using laws of nature and this is espresso in case you guys are wondering that's a beautiful rich color it is so shout out to you laws for having a nice dark color yes, it was so nice meeting her oh we met her also oh my goodness jasmine so hey it was wonderful meeting her it does look. <laughs> it does. Chocolate chip. Ah. Why am I so extra? So extra. <laughs> look at her watching Party B again. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, I like ratchet hip hop music. I mean, I know there is no, there isn't much context to what they're saying. There is no educational benefit from it. Except that it gets me turned to just be ratchet and just, just <laughs> be ratchet. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I guess for the gym, mm -hmm. I can do it, but for anything else, no. That, but I like that Cardi B song, Bo That Yellow. If you wanted to, this is red bottom, these is bloody, this is actually slippers, but these is bloody shoes. Confession, never heard it, don't care. You never, no, don't, oh, don't play it. Don't stop. Play it. Like, no. You never heard that song. No, I don't like ratchet hip hop. This is how you know I can't hang out. I'm gonna mix it with Plain Jane. For my foundation, I'm mixing Black Minerals. Oh, this is the finishing dust in Tawny with Mocha Mineral. Yeah, this is the mineral foundation in Mocha. I mix them together. And shout out to New York and their TJ Maxx because I found these. <laughs> I've been looking for some of these for a long time. And these are actually vegan and cruelty free. Yeah. Vegan and cruelty free. TJ Maxx, $14.99. Right. Going back to your New York experience. Mm -hmm. How was your how were your subway rides? <laughs> you know, they take the train a lot. New York City. Some yeah. places we drove, some places we just took the train. What is up with the subway system? <laughs> like, is this where the crazy is wrong? Yep. We met so many crazy people in the train station. It was just, it was just crazy central. I mean, it was fun, but I don't know. I don't want to say I was nervous or scared, but it's different. It's very different. If you ever rode the Greyhound, if you haven't been on the subway in New York, if you ever rode a Greyhound Gosh. bus, it's similar to riding a Greyhound bus. Cause I used to ride the Greyhound bus a lot when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Cause we couldn't afford to fly, so if we went somewhere, we would take the bus. And there's always crazy people on those buses. Always someone talking to themselves, mm -hmm. or, and it's the same thing on the subway. It was quite similar, it was. But you get used to it. As a New Yorker, you know what to look out for. You don't sit there and entertain them. You let them be in their own little uh, corner. Some New Yorkers sit there and entertain them. Like, why that lady would sit there and entertain that? This one lady started, we know, okay, we're going on the train, and we're going to Indie Beauty. And there's a lady in the corner just, you know, talking to herself, talking about spirits and demons and different things attacking her. You know, at first thought she was talking to me. I was like, <laughs> no, because I had my shoulder out, remember? Yeah. I was like, this lady, like, am I offending her? <laughs> What's happening? And she kept praying and rebuking spirits and stuff. I'm not trying, you know, no shades to any religion, but this lady was not mentally there. Because you know. she was talking about demons and different spiritual, you know, different things. 
So the lady's in the corner doing her own little seance and whatever in the corner. <laughs> and she was an African American lady. So I went to the train, we ride the train for a good while now. We leave her in her corner, let her just say what she's saying, her piece, and no one is bothering her. An other lady who is not African American is sitting next, so he's just sitting to my this side of me, my right, mm -hmm. and the lady's sitting to my left. The other was the other lady. Was the other lady, yes. The 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 mentally challenged lady, mentally challenged. She was across from us. Right? She was across from us, and mind her own business. This lady comes to sit next to me now, and she's like huffing and puffing and oh, okay. Every, every time the mentally challenged lady would say something about you know her seances and her demons and stuff, this one would just really. Oh, <laughs> she's like, "Do you have a problem with me praying?" And then she goes off after that. And the lady next to me keeps answering her. Yeah. And she told her about herself and her ancestors. Let me she tell you. She told her. Inside, we were like, mm, <laughs> yes, tell her, tell her. But we didn't say anything about that. But my thing is, and they're going back and forth. But you can tell this lady is not mentally there. And she's telling the lady, the lady sitting next to me was telling the crate, the you know, the other lady that, you know, your praying is disturbing my, my train ride. You're talking too loud. You're doing this. Ladies, she is not all there. Let her be with her. I mean, it is annoying and it was disturbing. But you clearly said this lady was not right in the head. This right. is the New York City subway system. This is crazy galore. That's what we see on a regular basis. Leave her be in her corner. Luckily, yeah. she wasn't walking around doing mm -hmm. it. Because I've seen that they walk around and come in your face. No, she's in her corner. It's, doing her it thing. It was kind of like arguing with like a little kid. Like yeah. A child. Like, why would you argue with a child? It was fun. I was laughing inside. But the best part, though, was the crew that we went with. Shout out to all the black girl magic that we sprinkled all up and through Indie right. Beauty. It's a group of us. We all chat through Instagram. We all linked up for the event and we just spread just black girl magic. Yeah, it so fun. it was fun. So that's Chelsea. It was Chelsea. Karen, the holistic honey. Brown skin, green beauty, Monique. Hey, it was hey, fun girl. hanging with you. Who else? Um, um, Dominique. You know, oh, Dominique. Dominique. I don't uh -huh. know if she has a YouTube. Her oh, Instagram hand, handle. Yeah, it's Dominique Dalton. I don't want to miss Put it right there. Last night. Barry. Oh, yeah. Barry, Barry. She's so much fun. Yes, oh, I'll yeah. link her um, YouTube down here as well. Who else? Of course, Laws of Nature. Jasmine mm -hmm. was there. Um, that's all I can remember right now. But we really just showed up and showed out and just had a good time. New York City traffic, though. <laughs> There is so many people here. Is the village a borough? A borough? A borough. Is the village a borough? <laughs> Please edit that out. No, I'm not. The village is not a borough. The village is in oh. Manhattan. Um, yes. So how, Just many like, borough, how many boroughs are there? Five boroughs. Six. Yeah. What six? Harlem is a borough. Harlem. I'm sorry. Like y'all not gonna y'all not gonna keep playing Harlem like this. All right. I'm gonna draw your map in a minute. But we have Manhattan. Manhattan, inside of Manhattan, there is Harlem, is in there. Okay, so you have Manhattan. Well, why is it? Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, Staten Island, that's all the boroughs. Do what you want about Harlem. Let me just tell you the what facts. Is facts is facts. Mm. So we both have the same highlighter. This is from Brown Leaf Cosmetics. Yes. Like, don't pay attention to all this, just this one right here. We both got it together from Brown Leaf Cosmetics. This is the color, um, mm. Butter Pecan, yeah. This is the shade Butter Pecan. And this is the new, it's so buttery and creamy. So we and it smells up, good. She doesn't like the smell. I love the smell. Because it smells like sweet stuff. I don't like sweet stuff smell. But we've been obsessed. Like it's so creamy and smooth. Like this is possibly our new favorite highlighter. It's definitely my new favorite. Yeah. So Brown Leaf Cosmetics. I'll leave the information below. Black owned. Ow. <laughs> and some of my eyeshadows are in here from them as well. Yeah, they have some really nice eyeshadows. Yeah. Well, she has some really nice eyeshadows. But this right here. I think I'm gonna get that other highlighter. She has two. Yes. No, she's three. Is there three? One, one of them, no. Not one of them, us. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good though. She carries a different shade range. Yeah. Even though it's not True. for us, it's for someone else with a lot of shade, which is good. Like when we say that we want brands to cater to us and to help us out, we don't mean exclude everyone else. We just mean right. to include us. Yeah. Right. So she has for the light skin tones as well. So definitely check her out if you're interested. That, I should have gotten a pair. This was the only this was on the Oh wow. Maybe have a little TJ Maxx near you. Another one? Mm -hmm. 
a few over here. I just never go inside. And we went inside because Zuzu Natural is always mm -hmm. talking about she finds stuff oh, in TJ. Oh, it's the best stuff yeah, in TJ Maxx. Max. So, we're like, oh, let's, let's go in there for Zuzu. <laughs> I didn't find any skincare stuff in there. Mm-mm. Well, I did, but not anything that I wanted. And I'm not going to take Yeah, they had, some, they had some skincare items. But not anything that I wanted yeah. or I needed because it's a, on a needs basis right now. The way, you know, my shopping has gotten. I'm trying to do things that I need. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily things that, that I want. want. Yeah. yeah. See, I practiced that. You do? Especially yesterday. You practiced that? Yes. You buy things only when you need it. Yes. You. Mm -hmm. Keisha. Mm -hmm. Keisha, you're a spendaholic. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're, you're an impulsive spender. You no, see remember, something right now and I want it and you get it. Yeah, sometimes. But remember yesterday when um, I put back two pairs of pants because I was that like, I, I like them but I don't love them. That is true. And I love this so I just get what I love that is and true. get what I like. That is true. You did show restraint yesterday for once. Ooh. For once. But I, I showed restraint and you didn't even know it on uh, 125th. Because I could have bought something from every single vendor. <laughs> but I was like, let me not embarrass myself. In front Why would you embarrass right yourself? Because I know you were going to think like you just thought. Like, oh, just Yeah, but so what if I think that? She's just being impulsive. So what if I think that? And you think that I'm a thrifty <laughs> shopper who's indecisive. And who I am. And who cares if you think that? I don't necessarily think you're indecisive. Well, yeah, you are. I am indecisive and I'm a thrifty shopper. And I'll admit to it. <laughs> yeah, this is my everyday, nothing fancy, basic... So you guys see me do like, you see us do these makeup videos with all this extravagant eyeshadows look. Catch us on the street in a regular day. Mm -hmm. We might have makeup on, yeah. we might not have makeup on. It's just, and if we do have makeup on, it's a basic. It's basic. Eyebrows, foundation, maybe mascara, and a lip product. Oh, highlighter. I usually highlight. always highlight my yeah. nose. I don't know why, I just like those. But regular day, just we just get up and go. Now the lips and then we're done. I'm gonna do a bold lip because everything else is so... What? Whenever you see you doing something bold, I always look at you because... <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I'm the bold queen. <laughs> True. <laughs> now I don't oh, know Did you see do. the, um... What? You, did you watch Chelsea's Insta stories where she was talking with that makeup artist? And she was like, um, um, a liner under your waterline is like, no more. Just really? Outdated. Yeah. I just did that. You, you sat here and watched me do it. And then you gonna tell me afterwards. <laughs> I look cute. That's it what was Chelsea, cute. Chelsea was like, I still do it. Chelsea, stop it. I look cute. I'm still gonna do it. It just brings out my eye more, no, I guess. Like, like, don't, don't do, do it. it. <laughs> don't do it. Nonsense. So the look is basically all done. Keisha did a nice bold lip. Go ahead, model. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Pose, angles, mm -hmm. frames. Face. Is it a mauve color lip? Mm -hmm. It's really it's pretty, pretty good. I don't know if it's coming off as pretty on camera as it is in person. That's all for now. Hope you guys enjoy this chit chat. Get ready with us. We talk about indie beauty, New York visits, and everything else in between. Right. Once again, if you guys want us to do any other videos, leave it in the comment section of this video or even on her channel as well. Anything you want to say to the people? No, it's always nice hanging out on Kaya Journey's channel. Yes. Does that sound right? Yeah, they, they know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's all for now, you guys. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Peace. Rolly puppy. No, it's extra too much. Always. Hey, my shorts.